for the one-two. Here's Lemon. The angle's pretty tight, and Foster fumbles it and makes the save out towards the edge of the area. It's there for Vine. Courtney Vine into space. Good tackle. Nice piece of defensive work by Manaya Elliott. There's a good energy about the game early, isn't it? McLean and Speckmeyer come together. It's picked up by Taylor Ray, who rakes one across towards Lemon, but Robertson has nipped in. And off she goes, Mickey Robertson. Inside, outside, Mickey Robertson. Energy personified from the pocket rocket, that is Michaela Robertson. Vine, what a touch, lovely touch into the path of Hawksby. Goes for the return. Look at that speed from Courtney Vine. Aiming across the six-yard area and up and over her own crossbar from Jay, but her pace is such a weapon, isn't it, Courtney Vine? Hawksby will take the resulting corner. Sydney's first of the afternoon. Draws it towards the end. Vine! What a goal from Courtney Vine! That would light up any football arena anywhere in the world. Mackenzie Hawksby, it was a set move. A drilled pass to the edge, and without a second's thought. Breslin for Speckmeyer, who lets it go. Clever from Mariana Speckmeyer. All by herself, though, with three defenders there. Gets the shot away, deflected into the arms of Jada Wyman, but Mariana Speckmeyer had to do it all herself and managed to fashion an effort on goal. Another set-piece situation for visitors. Fine with the header! It's almost another absolutely spectacular goal. This time from the head of Courtney Vine. Here's Talon Henneker. Across the six-yard area. And it goes into the win home goal, I think. Talon Henneker was the architect of it. Tiana Jaber, I think, may have got the final touch. And that'll go down on shore as an own goal. Nipped away, though, and Sydney FC with a chance to break through Vine. Brayton Dale trying to keep up. Play forward towards Connors. Connors is in the area, but so too is Mickey Foster. Only as far as Courtney Vine. Hawksby, Mackenzie Hawksby deflected. And happily for Riley Foster, the deflection. She and Fraser combined well. Now Breslin, Breslin shoots from a long way out. Lyman, well, it was a difficult save to make, and actually then she did pretty well with that. Nice soft hands, so it wasn't pushed out into the path of the on-running Robertson. Here she is again. And Foster this time gets it at the second attempt. She's such a danger, isn't she? Mackenzie Hawksby at set-piece time. Yeah, she's a great manipulator of the ball, able to find players every single delivery. Hawksby's going to have an effort from a long way out here. The clearance from Riley Foster wasn't her best work, and Mackenzie Hawksby just sensed an opportunity from about 35 yards. Yeah, and again, Phoenix just not doing each other too many favours across the back. Vine, off she goes. Only one thing on her mind at the moment, Courtney Vine. She's fouled, and that'll be a yellow card, I think, coming the way of Mackenzie Barry. Hawksby, delivery's good. Hitter! Good from Vine, and she makes it three. Two on the day for Courtney Vine. Three for Sydney FC, who are now well clear in Porirua. And this one towards the near post. Again, it's clear, but out to Fraser again, who's going to have another bite at the cherry. The delivery is good, and Cox is deflected it in. I'm not sure she knew a heck of a lot about it. It's about Cox. But the ball's headed up at the back of the net, and Wellington do have a foothold back in the game. Taylor looking for the run of Cox and finds her nicely. Tracked all the way by Thompson. Isabel Cox has a goal, looking to set up a second. It's deflected into the sunshine, not clear. Dangerous. And cleared by Wellington. Here's Mickey Robertson. And not cleared. Shot comes in and that'll creep in. And it is Jordan Thompson who's drilled home the fourth goal. Sydney restore their two goal advantage. Watch it off. Watch it 
Robertson running at Tumith. Mickey Robertson lines it up. And what a save by Wyman in the second attempt as well. The second save was probably the better of the two as Errington was lurking around. And it's great play by Robertson who cuts inside, gets a shot of Errington, arrives on Wyman's toes but not able to put that one away. Javer steps into midfield. Pursued all the way by Vine, breaks to Speckmeyer. Kate Taylor has become a right winger all of a sudden. Does well, Kate Taylor. Has the pass, it's not bad, the shot's good as well. From Errington, she turns it back across the six yard area where she's had a couple of really good opportunities. Elena Errington off the bench today.